What's going on everyone? Welcome to another video. Today I'm back in Hello Engineer. Now last time I did all the demo challenges, but today I want to try to build something in the sandbox. Specifically, I want to try to build a rear wheel drive drivetrain with a differential. I think it might be cool. So let's give it a try. <laughs> nice, it's like a theater. Very neat. All right, what parts do I get? I guess I get whatever. Ooh, is this a blueprint? What did I get? Where can I, uh, where is the library? What, what? Oh, okay, here it is. A drift vehicle. What? Oh my goodness. This is amazing. This is so cool. <laughs> what? I love it. It's not drifting. Okay, well, I guess you have to handbrake. There we go. Perfect. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. This thing is cool. Alrighty, I want to try and build something. Let me, uh, let me hop back into here. Okay, bye. I'm wondering if I can build, like, an actual, like, drive shaft drive system, you know? Like, with an engine up front and a drive shaft going to the rear type deal. That'd be kind of cool. So let's pick an engine, I guess. Here we go. Aircraft thruster. Sci fast engine. Ooh, I think I want to use the powerful one. Let's use the powerful engine. Perfect. That's great. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're gonna have to have the gear come out the side. All right, so I need a shaft. Perfect. And I guess I need to put a gear on that. An angular gear. There we go. Oh my goodness, that is massive. Can I resize it? Oof. Oof. Okay. Not a whole lot of sizes there. That's okay. And now I need to have another shaft. There you go. Just like that. Oh man, that's gonna be a crazy sequence of gears. I guess we'll just have to have the transmission be sort of offset. That looks so weird though. <laughs> I'm gonna get a little gear like this. Can I actually make this bigger? Oh my goodness, that is massive. What is this even? Oh geez. Okay, it's still a bit off center. There you go. Big gears, but at least they're, uh, you know, they're down the center there. <laughs> very, uh, very odd solution if you ask me, but, you know, it is what it is. I feel like we need some kind of support for all these gears, you know? Like, where are they, where are they attached to? Sorry, to all the shafts. Uh, so let's just do this right here. Perfect. So now they're connected. Uh, for some reason I couldn't get the pipes to be short enough, so I had to use these static blocks. But that should uh, should work well for supporting those gears. So now, and I, I mean, ideally, in you know, in real life, you would want to support it from both ends, you know, not just in one uh, one spot. But we're gonna try and keep this somewhat simple. So now we can throw this gear onto here. Totally not have it mesh properly, but that's okay. And let's throw another shaft into all this so that we can essentially... Well, here, let's lift this up because I need to build another support for this gear. So, you know, I think I'm going to do it, I guess, in front down here. Oof, this is going to be interesting. All right, let's give it a try. Perfect. Throw a pipe there. Excellent. Copy over this block right here because we need it to be able to spin our shaft. Uh, now we can uh, actually throw a shaft into here. There we go. And actually maybe do this. No. Oh, jeez. Come on. Okay. And now we can throw one of these guys onto here. And we should have, you know, uh, basically a connected drivetrain now that we can lead uh, all the way to the back. Now, maybe I'm thinking, hmm, I feel like I want to run this all lower, you know? How small of a gear can I get? Okay, that's good. That's good. This is exactly what I need. Now, knowing that this is a torquey engine, or at least it's advertised as a torquey engine, I think I'm actually going to overdrive it. So this small gear is going to go on the shaft below, and up top here, I'm going to try and uh, use, well, basically a larger gear. Hopefully it all meshes, we'll see. Gotta grab another shaft and throw it into here. And this is going to be the long boy, you know? I don't think I'm making all-wheel drive today. I think I'm gonna make just rear-wheel drive. But here, let me... Let me increase the size of that to something obnoxious. Oh boy. Okay. Oh no. Still getting the hang of building. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, here we go. Nice. Now, we can throw this little guy onto here. And now I'm hopefully going to just copy this over and increase its size. Oh boy, wrong one. Man, I took the shaft. Why would I take the shit? There we go. There we go. Okay. And now if I increase the size, nice. We get an overdrive. That's good. So all of this should technically work. 
Now, I need to, I guess, build a frame around all this. But I'm thinking maybe at first I'm going to, you know, just, I, I guess, keep building the drivetrain. Let's do that. So I need another bevel gear on the back. I think this is long enough, actually. You know, let's, uh, yeah, this is probably long enough. I'm going to throw a bevel gear on the back here. And probably another bearing block. I'm gonna call it a bearing block. Like so. Maybe another one in the middle for support down the line, but this should be this should be fine. Alrighty, I wasn't sure if this was going to work, so I didn't really talk while building it, but I think this differential might work, so I'm gonna give it a try, uh, see how that works out for me, but for now, I need to connect all of this up, and it's actually funny because I geared it, uh, you know, up here, but then here I'm gearing it back down because I had to use this massive pinion gear on the whole differential assembly so we'll see how this works out but now i have to connect it all uh so i guess i'm just going to raise this whole thing up and uh you know build a frame to mount the uh, differential to the rest of this assembly definitely gonna need more of these guys um i think yeah that's exactly what i'm gonna do i think now we need some pipes perfecto Okay, there we go. So it's connected there. Uh, now I just got to make sure my, you know, all my shaft lengths are, are going to be good. That should technically work. Can I throw big wheels on this thing? Let's see what kind of wheels I can put on this. Big space wheel, big donut wheel, medium steel wheels. Uh, these wheels look cool, actually. Junkyard wheels, double wheels, wooden wheels. Okay, well, how big are these guys? Let's throw these on. Can I actually... No, I can't. So... Oh, they, uh, they are basically as big. No, they're smaller than that gear. Oh my gosh. Yeah, look at that. That's not going to fly. I need bigger wheels. All right, I think I'm going to need to use the monster truck wheels. Or wait, how big are these? The space wheels. Let's do that. Perfect. There's one and there's two. That's awesome. <laughs> that is cool. All right, well, we'll have to figure out if the uh, differential works. But I have to build... Oh, man, I do not want to build suspension on the back. I don't think I'm going to do suspension this time around. Uh, but that would be really neat. We need, like, flexible joints for suspension, you know? Like, U-joints. So that would be interesting to see how, how that's done. But let's build, I guess, the frame a little more. And then I'm going to build the front end, build the seat, and we'll try driving this thing. Wow, it's actually really cool. There's a lot of neat stuff. There's decor. Oh, whoops. That's a horn. <laughs> There's wep. Come on. 
There's weapons, <laughs> anvil, what? There's just different weight anvils, amazing. A wooden sword, rocket cannon, boxing glove, there's logic as well. Motion sensor, timer, computer, toggle switch, LED controller, push button. Huh, I wonder what the controller, uh, or rather the computer does. That's really interesting. But yeah, lots of neat stuff. Electro, screw jack, sled chair, off-road headlight, handcrafted headlight, double headlight, triple headlight, small seat, bicycle seat, duck seat. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Alright, the frame and the wheels are done. I mean, it's not ideal, but it's done. Uh, it should steer and do all that stuff. I actually haven't configured any of it. So I'm gonna do that off camera, but I still need to build a seat onto it. And then I have to connect everything up, put a battery on it, and then we should be good to go. So let's do all that. Oh my gosh. I'm, uh, I'm kind of terrified, but I'm ready to give this a try. Let's give this a go. I never actually set the engine up. Uh, but it should be at maximum because, well, this, yeah, this is going to be interesting. Uh, let's get into the small seat. How's the steering? Oh my gosh, that is so fast. So the steering needs to get reversed. Let's quickly do that. Steering should be good. Engine should be running. And let's, there we go. Much better. Can we go forward? Oh my goodness, it's actually going. It doesn't want to go forward though. That's weird. Do I just have too many gears? What's going on? Come on, the little engine that could. Okay, for, well, first of all, it's reversed. Perfect, there we go. I wonder if this engine is just not powerful enough. That would be... That would be a shame. I do have a lot of gears, so I wouldn't be surprised. Oh my gosh. Oh, I think I might have an issue with my differential, actually. I think the issue here is that... This block is connected to this block, and therefore the differential cannot spin. So I have to move this. I gotta move this over to here. Oh boy, that's, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, and move this over to here. Because it has to be symmetrical. I mean, this is gonna drive me nuts if it's not. And you know what? Just because I don't feel like rebuilding the whole thing, we're gonna do that. Perfect. This actually looks promising. Oh my goodness, it works. And you can see the differential working. That's hilarious. It's literally spinning out one side. Oh my goodness. While turning, it's just spinning out the one side. Guys, this is so cool. This thing actually works. And the differential actually works. That's so wicked. <laughs> oh, I love this. I love this. I love this whole portion as well. The right drive so that we can actually get it from, you know the transverse movement to the lateral movement ah uh, this is this is amazing this is so cool uh i love this i wonder if it would drive better with like rubber wheels you know oh my goodness the differential i love it i absolutely love it <laughs> uh that's so cool you could see the inner wheel Spinning much less than the outside wheel. That's that's exactly how a differential should work This is awesome. I I love this game. Okay, uh, let me try just quickly sticking some different wheels onto it And then we can go and see if we can uh, I guess go and hit up some obstacles. I can't believe this worked That's oh what there we go. Excellent. Let's let it down. Oh my gosh these wheels I don't know if it likes these wheels, but Oh, it does not like these wheels. <laughs> oh, it does not like them at all. Wow, what's going on here? Very interesting. We've got a bit too much of an open diff here. Let's just, let's put it that way. That's so funny. Oh boy, oh boy, relax. It worked a lot better with the other wheels, guys. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna throw those back on. This is no bueno. I don't know, they might just be too heavy. Yeah, that works just so much. Oh my goodness, the open diff is insane. The open diff is very much open diffing right now. 
Uh, we need to, uh, we need to put that in some kind of enclosure and put some diff fluid in that, you know, add some viscosity to it, because holy moly. Alright, here we go. Let's go and see if we can, uh, go over some obstacles. I saw something over here. Oh, there it is. <laughs> this is cool that it works, man. I love this whole front section as well, watching all the gears move. Way cool. Alright, let's see how this does. Ah! Ah! <laughs> uh, the answer is no. <laughs> the answer is just no. <laughs> oh, jeez. I mean, it's a cool proof of concept. That's all that matters. That's all that matters here. <laughs> yeah, you can actually see the diff working. Because we're getting hung up. That's so cool. I'm glad we got hung up because we get to watch the diff work. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, well, can I... Can I somehow lift this up? I, I can't lift it up here, unfortunately. That's okay. I can only return back to the checkpoint. Well, I think I'm gonna call it a video here, guys. I mean, clearly this thing uh, needs a little bit more power. I could probably try throwing the other engine onto it. Maybe we should do that. Maybe we shouldn't call this a video just yet. Let me quickly throw the different engine on it. See if that makes it better. <laughs> it's literally Spin City. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's a little bit too much. It's a little bit too much. I wonder if I can make that jump now, though. Oof, oof. It's it's not having a good time. <laughs> it's certainly trying to, uh, like, over-torque it, I think. Over-torque. Alright, here we go. Here we go, down into the ditch here, very carefully. Hit some rocks, who cares? Go, go, you can do it. You can do it, yes! Well, at least it did that. But I think I'm gonna call the video here, guys. I really enjoyed building in this game. Uh, this oh my gosh! <laughs> the story mode is quite fun as well. I, uh, I'm i really looking forward to the full game. Definitely go and check out the, uh, the demo on Steam. This is available for everybody. You can play around just like I did. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely let me know in the comments down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! This is ridiculous. <laughs>